Hey everybody, it's Tani Seren here, and today we're going to talk about sex wedges. So if you haven't seen any of my previous reviews of like the Liberty products and others that kind of allow you to have like a sex cushion uh, during play, then this is gonna be a fun new adventure for you. If you have though, I'm gonna be showing you a few other designs you might not have seen. So uh, come and enjoy. Now, why would you use a sex wedge? For a lot of people, it seems like an unnecessary product, a large, you know, product that you're having in your room for no real reason. But there's actually a incredible bunch of reasons why you would use a sex wedge in bed. So whether it's you experience pain, could be lower back pain, could be upper back pain, could be pain in your legs, wherever along your body during sex that could prohibit you from really allowing yourself to let go and relax into that experience, or whether you want an opportunity to be able to reach an angle where you can go deeper and have a deeper, you know, um, uh, a more fulfilling kind of penetration in general. There's a lot of different ways you can use these, uh, no matter what sort of relationship you are in. Uh, now, another cool thing about sex wedges is that they're discreet. So a lot of times when you're getting sex furniture, it's a bit obvious what it is, whether it's seat related, thrusting toy related, uh, whether it has markings all over it that are like, this is for sex. But in cases of say, Liberator, uh, you can find cushions that are very, very discreet. So for instance, this is one that I have on my bed often. So I just lay this across the top and it looks like a normal cushion. But when you untuck, you can tuck them up here on the sides, there's an opportunity to attach on handcuffs and this becomes not only a wedge that can be used during actual penetration, but a bondage product as well. So it doesn't take up more space in my closet. I can just lay it out on my bed and no one is the wiser. And the reason I love something like this is that it provides a bondage opportunity where I'm not fighting against a spreader bar or you know a metal bar that's like kind of rough and that's you know a little a little fancy. This is something that I can use where it is softer, it's more comfortable, I can rest my head on it while I stretch out if I want to. But also this provides quite a lot of lift. As you can see, this is how much lift you can have if I were to say, put my ass right here and have my legs in the air, providing a deeper penetration and also a cushion for my back. Because when we're arching up and we're lifting our hips and we're doing these angles in order to get that deeper penetration or get our back up there, it can prove to be very uncomfortable. Unless you're somebody who can just plank all day and thrust all day and it's no problem, um, but I can't. <laughs> and holding that position where I'm wedging my body up so that it can get that deeper penetration, uh, it's not very comfortable. So this allows, like for instance, this is the lips this allows for seven inches of lift and I can use this on my lower back to kind of alleviate some pain while I'm in the air and I'm receiving that penetration. So whether it's pain related, comfort, or you just want to have an added experience where you're adding that deeper penetration, wedges are incredible. Now, um, last but not least, if somebody is intimidated or worried about bringing sex toys into the bedroom, this, much like massaging oil, flavored lube, stuff like that, can be a great gateway to getting them in there. If you're somebody who wants to try toys and try new things, getting something like a sexy pillow is a little bit more mainstream in the sense like you're not bringing in something that is going to penetrate your partner or penetrate you or replace a sensation you're bringing something in that's going to enhance it in a comfortable way I mean there's plenty of us that have grabbed for a pillow and not had it been firm enough to do what these can do but try to wedge it under our lower back to get that extra arch or that you know that length there uh, this is an opportunity to bring in a toy, in a sense a product, that will help with uh, your sex life, that will add a little extra something, a little something to explore with, without bringing in um, an item that might scare them off or otherwise kind of 
make them retreat back to where you started. So if you're looking to introduce something new, highly recommend a sex wedge. Again, it really, truly can help if you experience that pain, if you uh, need something to just kind of relax yourself on without having to feel like you're arching or meeting thrusts, or if you're again on the other end and you're thrusting, uh, it just allows you to have more depth. It gives you something you can also hold on to. It's an added bonus for both and all parties involved highly recommend you check it out. So I've got my reviews of a few different ones that I have really enjoyed down below if you want to see what I would recommend and more information about how they can alleviate pain, exactly what they do, as well as examples of me using them as well. So if you would like to see those, click the links down below. Let me know how a wedge or sex pillow has assisted with you. And again, I dare you to leave these laying around your house. See how many people don't realize what they're for. It's kind of a fun game to play. Thank you all so much. I look forward to chatting with you again soon. Bye.